So I'm just making this video about the Trek H1 and H2 fit, which is something that caught me out on another video I made about the Trek Madone. Basically, in that video, the Trek Madone 9.9 2018, I took this photograph from their website, assuming that this was the frame that came with this stock 9.9 Trek Madone, which clearly is a different shape to the picture that they have on the 2017 9.9. But as somebody pointed out in the comments, what I'm actually looking at there is the difference between a H1 geometry and a H2 geometry. Now, the peculiar thing is if you go to Trek's website and look at the 9.9, this is the image I collected and it's got the H1 racing geometry. However, if you go all the way down to the bottom, there's a comment here where someone asked exactly the question of the H1. The pictures of this model seem to show an H1 fit. Now, the person from Trek has replied, for 2018, the Madone 9.9 .9 stock bike comes in the 600 series carbon H2 geometry. The Madone 9 series SLL frame set is the only stock option for 2018 that is offered with an H1 outside of the P1 program, P1 being Project 1. So what that means, unless I'm missing something, is that Trek have got the wrong picture up here because that is a H1 frame and not the stock 9.9 .9 H2 frame. Now if I've got that wrong, somebody explain it to me in the comments below. But whatever way you look at it, I don't think that Trek really make it very clear about this H1 and H2 business. And in fact, on some of the pages for the Amonda and stuff like that, they don't mention the fit at all. So it's almost like you need to know this stuff before you even come to their website. But I'm not sure where you're supposed to learn about it, really. So I thought I'd make a very quick video and show you the difference. So this is the image I've collected for the Trek Madone 9 frame set 2018. 3,000 pounds. This is made from 600 series OCLV carbon and is the H2 fit. Now initially I thought that H2 and the fact that it was 600 series carbon were linked together, but it's not. H1 and H2 are just the geometry of the bike, as you'll see on the Amonda in a second. It just depends what they use. 56 centimetre frame, and I'm assuming this is with the forks, I would imagine so, is 2.27 kilograms. And we've got the stack reach and wheelbase there that you'll, that will make sense in a sec when I show you the next frame. This is the frame that the 9.9 .9 comes with stock. Now, if you want the H1 geometry, you need to order through Project 1, or you can buy the RSL frame set. RSL stands for Race Shop Limited frame set. To get the H1 fit with 700 series carbon this time, you've got to pay another £1,300, which seems like an awful lot of money to me when the difference is about 10 grams. 11 grams. However, the geometry is quite different, as you can see here if I zoom in. So that's the difference there. As ever, Trek's awfully compressed images letting me down a bit there. But the Race Shop Limited H1 frame set has a stack height that's 4.8% lower than the H2 and a reach that stretches you out by another 2% over the H2. Apart from that, they're exactly the same length, 98.3 centimeters. Okay, so that's the Madone. I think we've cleared that up there now. Moving on to the Imonda, which is another frame set that comes in H1 and H2. The Trek Imonda SLR frame set 2018 is 2,590 pounds. It's made with the 700 series carbon, but is H2. So this is what I was talking about earlier. The carbon and the fit and not linked together. So this is a lot lighter than the uh, Madone, and you can see there it's a lot lighter because it's it's an awful lot less carbon. The numbers are very similar between the H2 Madone and the H2 Amonda. So the stack height is fractionally lower on the Amonda, but the reach and the wheelbase exactly the same. They also do an H2 disc frame set, which is actually exactly the same price. And according to the website, all the numbers are the same as the H2 rim brake version, which is unusual because the wheelbase of a disc bike is usually longer. But that's what the website says, so I have to believe them. You can buy the Imonda RSL, same as you can the Madone. So it's the Race Shop Limited frame set. And this time that's exactly the same price because it too is also made out of 700 series carbon. It's the H1 fit. And again, if we zoom in on the headset area, try and ignore that hideous compression of the image, you can see H1, H2, and that's basically the difference. Now the H1, now according to the website, even though the RSL version is quite a lot less carbon, it's actually only 10 grams lighter. 
I thought it would be more than that. But for a frame and fork that's already ridiculously light, I guess that's okay. And very similarly to the Madones, the Amonda RSL is 4.85% lower at the front, as you can see, and is stretched out by another 2% and the wheelbase is exactly the same. So if you compare the RSL Amonda with the RSL Madone, very similar. And then if you look at the SLR frame set of the Amonda and the Madone 9 frame set, again, very similar. So there we go. I hope that's cleared up the H1, H2 thing, which I got kind of confused with in the Madone video. It is quite confusing. I don't think Trek make it clear enough, but before you buy one of these bikes, make sure you know which geometry you're looking at especially if you're buying it second hand because it will make a difference when you try and set it up. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this sort of stuff, subscribe to my channel.